That's right, Sarah. The police department actually took to social media platforms today announcing that thanks to them and city councilmen, they have a safe exchange zone right across actually from the police department right near City Hall. This is something they believe is going to make this process of exchanging privately bought goods and again selling privately owned goods online that much safer. Again, this is not the only city entity locally that does this. I spoke with several. Take a listen. Birmingham, Bessemer, and Hoover are just a few of the other cities that have meetup spots available for use. Hoover actually has three places scattered all across the city. So these spots are all in public locations. They're well lit. They have video surveillance so that uh, citizens that are using them can feel comfortable when they go to these locations. Lieutenant Lowe also providing some tips for those who plan on buying or selling property at the Internet Exchange locations. Just use common sense. Remember that you're dealing with somebody that you met online that you may not know uh, on, a, on a personal basis. Go uh, in groups if you can. There's always safety in numbers. So if you can avoid doing something alone, that's always uh, a good idea. If, if you ever feel unsafe, you can call the police department and, and we'll be glad to, uh, to come by and check on that situation. He also suggests scheduling the time during daylight hours and that you get information from the other party prior to showing up. Uh, making sure that you know the person that you're looking for. Uh, their name, what vehicle they're going to be driving, uh, even what they might be wearing so that you don't get approached by someone uh, that may not be the person you're looking for. Now, I spoke with Adamsville Police about this. They say this location in particular, the one I'm at across from the police department, was chosen due to the security precautions. A lot of cameras on this area. And again, this is not the only place that has these. The ones in Hoover, similar situation in Birmingham. A lot of eyes on those locations to make anyone going to them feel that much safer this holiday season. Reporting in Adamsville, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.